Hello and welcome to another training video in Microsoft Configuration Manager series. In this video, we will explore how to use Microsoft Configuration Manager to manage and enforce the compliance settings across your organization. Whether you are securing the endpoints or aligning with the company policies, SCCM's compliance management tools can help you. My name is Navneet Kumar and I'm a Microsoft Certified Trainer. Well, the compliance management lets you check whether your systems meet the organizational or security policies. You can evaluate and enforce the settings. You can detect any drifts and report on compliance status. That all from the centralized configuration manager console. The compliance process involves the four main components. Configuration items define the specific settings. Baselines are used to group these configuration items. Then the evaluation compares the current device state to the baseline. And finally, if a device is non-compliant, the remediation and reporting comes into the action. Some common examples including the checking whether BitLocker is enabled, antivirus signatures are up to date or a specific registry key exists. You can also audit the memberships, validate file presence or the monitoring of the service states. Here is how it works. First, you create the configuration items that define what you want to monitor. Next, you combine them into a baseline. Then you deploy this baseline to the device or the user collections. Finally, you monitor the compliance results and optionally you do the auto remediation if required. That is what you will see in the demonstration where I will show you how to create the configuration items, then putting them into a configuration baseline, deploying that baseline to a device collection of Windows 11 devices and finally monitoring and remediating the devices. Well, to deploy the compliance management to meet the company policies, we will go to the assets and compliance and the compliance settings where we have the options of configuration items, configuration baselines, user data and profiles and many other settings. You can pause this video and you can go through each and every components overview. As I mentioned earlier that the first step in configuration deployment is to define the configuration item. The configuration item you can think of as the definition which defines that what exactly you want. So for an instance, I want to validate that the remote desktop is enabled. I can categorize it. So there are options to create and manage the categories for the configuration items so that the management becomes easier. As far as the settings are concerned, so here we have the setting types which is registry value I'm going with right now and connecting to a remote machine which is my domain controller and we'll pick the registry key for the remote desktop which is under the local machine hierarchy and uh, here we have the system control, current control set and then there we have the terminal server under the terminal server there is setting that deny terminal server connections and it is set to one which means this is enabled so denial is enabled basically now i will set it up to you know meet the registry value to satisfy the rule and this is going to be zero so I have disabled this deny terminal server connections on the client machines, which means that the remote desktop will be enabled. Well, this is the setting. I'm going to the compliance rule and I can enable the auto remediation by selecting it and editing this uh, configuration of this compliance rule from here. We'll see remediate non-compliant rules when supported and then we'll click OK. Finally, click OK. Click Next on this settings page. Before I move further, I show you other options which are available like file system, IIS, 
metabase is there registry values you can deploy some scripts if uh, uh, that is not manageable through the defined options over here so custom scripts can do that sort of configuration on the target devices so there are several options that you can use under the configuration item to choose from to do the deployment of the required configuration on the target devices i have completed this window to create this configuration item as i mentioned earlier that the configuration items cannot be deployed alone for that we have to create the configuration baselines which are nothing but the group of configuration items or other configuration baselines can also be uh, integrated so we can do the nesting of configuration baselines if required so i will provide this configuration baseline some friendly name over here it support configuration settings a detailed description can be provided i will add the configuration item or it can be any software update or configuration baseline which you want to put into it so this is the group of the configuration items that i will define for my required configuration i have few check boxes at the bottom like always apply the baseline even for co-managed clients now it infrastructure is the category that i will choose from click ok click ok to complete this configuration baseline now the next thing i have to do is i have to initiate the deployment of this configuration baseline for that i will right click and click on deploy option on the deploy app i will see the option to choose the collection i will click on browse will change this collection from user collections to device collections because i have the configuration setting for the hkey local machine so it is a device configuration setting and for all windows 11 devices so that's the device collection i have selected i can configure the settings for remediating non-compliant rules when supported generate an alert so configuration settings are there the interval i can specify so this interval is let's say every five days i want to run it i can monitor it from the deployment that the deployment for the all windows 11 workstations device collection this deployment is done now i will move to the configuration manager client we'll go to the actions machine policy retrieval and evaluation cycle i will run and we'll wait for some time for a minute or two to pull the configurations as of now as you see here under the configurations there is nothing i will click refresh well now the configuration is available this is the configuration name this is the configuration baseline basically so the configuration is now available and i can evaluate the client client is right now non-compliant as you see the state and you can refresh to see now you can view the report and the report shows that the device is non-compliant as per the configuration baseline to perform the remediation of the clients i have moved to the configuration baseline and uh, in the baseline i have selected remediate non-compliant rules when supported and uh, i can allow the remediation outside the maintenance window also if required and then can finally click ok over here ok i will again pull the policies We'll go to the machine policy retrieval and evaluation cycle and run that from the configuration manager client. And we'll again evaluate this client whether it is compliant or non compliant. I will move to configuration and this is non compliant. I will refresh it, we'll evaluate it. Now as I refresh this, the client has become compliant. To validate that the device has become compliant as per the configuration baseline, I'm going to advanced system settings. 
and from there we'll go to the remote tab where I can see the remote connections are enabled on this device not only the remote desktop but for the remote assistance as well and uh, if I view the report then the device is set to compliant